Merry Christmas from the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. This channel is all about discovering Germany with me. We discuss social issues, legal topics, dating in Germany. In fact, everything about life in Germany. And if you are interested in such content, this is the place for you to be. Join me, join this family, subscribe to this channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being with me. Stick around. Today's video is about how we celebrated Christmas in the year 2020 under lockdown. How did things go? How did we get our gifts? How did we do our decorations? Do we even get the items, guys? How did we see family during this Christmas period? How did things go in Germany? This is my point of view. This is this is my family's perspective. How we enjoyed Christmas in Germany this year and join me on this journey. Vlog started actually the 1st of December, so join me on this get yourself a cup of tea. First vlog, I'll be commenting from my seat here back at home. I've looked at the videos and this, this year's Christmas was unexpected. We knew the rules, so in Germany we are on lockdown. Um, we were on partial lockdown before the full lockdown. On the, during the partial lockdown, we were allowed to basically go out to work, we were allowed to do everything except um, except go out to the restaurants, the restaurants were closed and um, nail technicians were closed. That's something that actually had a toll on me because I love getting my nails done and that was one thing that I missed, I still miss. And the numbers were still rising so they decided to um, go on a full lockdown. I think that was the 13th of December, 12th or 13th of December. And how did we go about that? So the first December started, we were on partial lockdown I wasn't feeling well that day. I was down with the flu and then I, I looked outside, there was snow and I was like, yes, at least something good, something good. And I thought mm, that was a sign that we would actually get out of the partial lockdown and probably things would get better, but no. Same way the snow didn't last, same way my hope didn't um, materialize. So <sighs> the snow didn't last, it melted after day or two where we didn't get snow. So first of all, we didn't get white Christmas. That was one thing. And then because we're on partial lockdown, most of the shops were still open. Um, I would go out and check out what I would want to do, like what kind of color theme I would want, what kind of decoration I would like to do. And this was basically my decoration for this year and how things went. I did a little bit of DIY. Um, I did a little bit of DIY. So I'm doing the advent um, crunch. I just um, did a snow um, landshaft and then I did a I did a snow landshaft and put in four candles and that was it because I wasn't getting an advent crunch. And then another thing was I wanted to get a tree, a real tree, but then I have floor heating so that wouldn't have been good. So I, I was actually, I have floor heating so I, I was waiting for the for the right time, basically like on the 23rd or 24th to get the tree and mount it and decorate and everything. But then um, my mother-in-law, um, I, my mother-in-law reached out and she was like, hey, I have extra trees. Um, these are plastic trees. I actually have two trees this year. This is so amazing. So this is the Phoebe tree. This is my personal tree. It's sitting right here on my desk, giving me the um, Christmas vibes. And then the family tree is, I'm looking at it right now, but I'll just put the video up somewhere. So yes. and. I went with the pink theme, pink, white, and I wanted to do pink, white, and purple, but I couldn't get purple bowls that I liked. So yeah, that is it. And then let's talk about presents. How did the presents aspect go? So it kind of happening. I got my gifts. I got my, the decorations were kind of happening. I had my theme and everything, but then on the 13th of December, we were on full lockdown and we got to know we'll be going on lockdown probably by Friday. On Friday, there was it was basically official that on the next Wednesday we'll be going on lockdown. Because I remember I was at work and I was told that on Wednesday we'll be going on lockdown. So by that time we knew that okay, we need to get our presents that we cannot get on like that we cannot want, that we wouldn't want to get online in the shops before the 13th. And that's when we went to Metzingen, and that was the Metzingen vlog. So that day was the last day before full lockdown. And then we got our gifts, some of our gifts there. Thinking back, um, in retrospect, I think we should have supported the smaller shops, the smaller um, enterprises that are actually um, struggling to survive this pandemic. 
and we hope to do better in the coming weeks for lockdown how is this going to, how is this going to work so i visited the guys Lingen for work and i vlogged a bit for you to see how the full lockdown affected us so you've seen Metzingen in the other video and this is Geislingen. the Geislingen is a smaller outlet city much smaller than Metzingen. Geislingen is where BMF the uh, the company that makes the pots the knife basically the kitchenware that is where it started and that's the headquarters um, in Geislingen. so they have other shops there as well and it's uh, it's become a bigger outlet but it's more for homeware they have more homeware shops than clothes so yeah this is an excerpt of the visit there morning guys today i am in geislingen i forgot where i was i'm in geislingen and i'm here for work i decided to take you along to show you how my day normally goes when i'm not at work in the office or yeah this is how my translation day goes and also show you how christmas under lockdown is going how the plants are what is you know happening and all of that so come along with me i have to go to the post office as well because i have to set off this package and yeah so let's go Closed. They, you can disinfect your hands outside, which is good. Metzinger did not have that. So basically, all the clothing shops are closed. This place is totally deserted. And this would have been a great photo op. Unfortunately, I'm alone here. I would have loved, loved, loved to take a picture here. I don't know if you can hear, but there's Christmas music as well. So pretty, so cute, but it's raining so the seat is wet, but this is so pretty, it would have been so cool for kids. Now, also closed, Triumph or Triumph is closed as well. Look at all the preparations they made guys, and the whole place is just empty. So I've been to the shop Rosen Tire. They have nice um, plates and even had stuff on sale. This would have been such a nice thing. Like they were trying their best, you know. Only nine people were allowed in the store. You have to wear your mask. I'm even wearing my mask now. I just generally wear it all the time. Once I'm out of the house, I like to keep my mask on. You can see the whole place is deserted. They had the cafeteria as well. I don't know what's going on with the cafeteria. Let's see, they had good food. So normally this parking lot is full, like even on not busy days. Normally when I come to court, I would come here. Sometimes I would even come with my mom because you know she loves a good bargain. And we'll meet up here and all that, but everything is closed. The cafeteria is closed as well. So sad guys. So yeah, basically that's it. But Entschuldigung, hat Lind noch auf? Ja. Also Lind hat als einziges Geschäft auf. Also die Lebensmittel. Okay. <laughs> okay. So two shops are open. Basically shops that sell food. So the cookie shops. Um, the boy color, they have, they make Prinzenrollen and Lint, so the chocolate shop Lint is open as well. Now the garden shop has to be closed. Oh, they are open. But it doesn't seem like there's anybody in there, right? So the garden shop looks open. They have somebody walking around there. 
the people still so whoever you can get cookie but usually the whole place is full hello the fish could swim the fish could swim okay so i was not allowed to film at the boy club it's fine i wouldn't have gotten anything anyways because i have lots and lots of sweets and since we're on lockdown the only thing i should be buying now is fruit fruit and veggies so i can be snacking healthy way healthy manner and no um sweets and stuff no i'm not gonna do that myself i have lots of chocolate so let's see if lens will allow us to film but the boy club was basically empty i was the only one there the last time i came or we came as a family some of us had to wait outside like only those who needed something there were inside we had to wait outside and now it's totally empty like people have even forgotten that the outlet city exists that is my impression like nah see you guys so this is really sad i feel really bad for the stores i don't even know how they're going to survive this 2020 yeah, but it's for the safety of us all, right? So Lent is a bit full. Wow. second of December I think I went to gathering on the 23rd of December so now come 24th of December <laughs> how are things going to go usually we celebrate the Christmas with the German part of the family on the 24th and then the Ghanaian part of the family on the 25th but because everybody would be home on 24th anyways we the Ghanaian part also decided that we're going to be um, celebrating on the 24th of December instead of the 25th and that also meant that since everybody was going to stay home and we're not going to come together to celebrate, we had to do it on Zoom. So we were on Zoom with my brother. My brother lives in Mannheim. We are on Zoom with him and we just missed him. So we then, we then planned this impromptu um, visit to, because then after opening presents on Zoom and he saw what he had gotten, he was like, so when are you coming to pick up the gift? Then we decided, you know what, we'll bring the gifts to you. <laughs> so then we plan an impromptu gift drop by on the 25th of December. And that is what you see in the next excerpt. Hi, everyone. Merry Christmas. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably the 27th or 28th. But um, today is the 25th. Usually we are all together, but because of COVID, my brother didn't come home. He just wanted to adhere to the safety rules. He was allowed to, but he said he would rather be on the safe side. But as a family, we couldn't just be without him. So we are going to drive up to Mannheim, where he is, and basically drop by his presence and make it a very quick visit. We've known of people who have had it, and it wasn't a pretty sight. And their recovery was painful. Painful for the victims and painful for their family. So guys, this is one of my Christmas presents. I love it. So it's all right today. Yes, we're on our way. And yeah, let's go to Mannheim.
any uh, dreadlock thing will be at me. Well then. It's just the beginning of the twist, man. Hey, you man. <laughs> I don't have me a heart attack. <laughs> it is. Um, guys, these are my presents. <laughs> This is a coupon, so come on. Mm -hmm. And good shine, my face glides out. And this, let me hold this for me. This is a map, cause if you know I love traveling, so this every country I've been to, I can just scrub it, scratch it off. Scratch it off. Thank you. <laughs> and this is the all my tobacco. Every year I get one, but this year I was like, oh, mommy didn't get me one. But I didn't know I was getting one. Here's some, have some. So guys, we are done. It was a quick visit. It was supposed to be just a present drop off and present exchange, but of course it's family. You can't um, determine how long it will go, but we did our best. We kept it short and kept our masks on during the whole visit. The masks were on. We took some pictures. Um, my sister-in-law and I, we took pictures outside. I'll put them somewhere in the video as well. And now we are just going to drive back to Stuttgart. And yeah, we continue later. Should I sign off here? Mm, I don't know, but I'll definitely see you at, when I get home, guys. So see you later. Mm -hmm. And it was good seeing them because I had missed them so, so much. No matter how short, at least we've seen them. We know they are fine. We know they're good. And we tried as much as possible to keep distance, to keep our masks on and all of that. Now, fast forward to now. I was in downtown Sugar yesterday and guys, the whole place looked like it was deserted, basically. Yesterday was Tuesday. It was a market day. Um, so that was the 29th. It was a market day and... Even the market day isn't booming as it used to. You know, they have separated the stalls. They have um, put the stalls in different areas of town. And it's it's just not what we are used to, you know. So check that, check that one out. Good morning, guys. Do you remember a few weeks ago, I was here and the whole place was lit up. There was the little Christmas stand thing going on. And today it's so sad. The lockdown is real. It's really real. Check this out. Not a soul except for this lady. So that is the Stuttgart train station behind the streets. The big Kaufhof. Oh, it's actually a Kauf house, but it's called Galeria Kaufhof. It's closed. Seriously closed. Um, the bakery is open over there. Over there, the bakery is open, and uh, the M, um, like the drugstore, is open as well. But basically, apart from that, all the clothing stores that have nothing to do with food or essentials are closed. They are closed. Today is a market day. So this is the market. Let's see what, what they have. I still have a lot of extra food. So here are some plants, some flowers. I still have a lot of food from Christmas. So I don't think I'll be getting anything. Oh, well, this is the flower department. They are still um, arranging stuff, setting up. Well, there's some fresh fruits over there. Oh, look at that. That's a nice truck. Fresh farm produce. But it's not big due to Corona. And market day is Tuesday and in other places it's Friday so it depends on where you live and sometimes they're actually two 
at all that bread and smell it. Bread stand. Thank you so much for joining me today and at this point this is going to be the last video before 2020 ends so I want to say a big big thank you a big thank you to each and every one of you who has supported my YouTube journey it's been six months and every day we are growing every day I have new ideas from you guys I, ha I get feedback I get encouragement so at least once a week, someone reaches out to me and says, Hey Phoebe, I've checked out your YouTube channel. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. And it's not once, it's not twice. It keeps happening. And I want to say a big thank you to each and everyone who supports me. I want to say a big thank you to those who do the behind the scenes, who tell me, Hey, better quality here. Say this, don't say that. Hey, in fact, let me just do a quick language reel. Okay. So. Them American, I say, I said da, I said do fi malcolm deep. I met her ma. Obi Piara support. Obi Piara mama who there. What time nature? Obi o mama who there. What I'm doing now, it has an impact. Thank you so so much. Mada wa say, mada wa say. Man kana minja baba, man kana minja richi, man kana minja taifa bachiko. Grazie mille. I want to say a big thank you as well to my family. They supported me. Um, I remember when I first said I'm going to do a YouTube video, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I got the ring light on you that is looking right at me over there. I got it for my birthday and as you can see, it's making me pop, you know, I'm hot and sizzling. <laughs> and yes, I just want to say thank you for the push, guys. And that is to my brother and my sister, you know, thank you so, so much. Feeling health, listen, thank and oish. I want to thank my big family as well. Thank you so, so much for the encouragement, for the questions that, you know, make me think. I, oh, I said I want to do a language review, so we done fancy. Let's do LA. Timbe, akwe, akwe na mi akata, akwe kaka, like, nye mounye ke maglon, ame subon o la riyom, oh, ayele, Phoebe, o start to YouTube, o le wano, o le jak bakba, akwe na mi akata. In fact, e joji nam, it was it was blind now though because I never expected it. I never expected this kind of support. So at this point, I want to thank my cousins. Yeah, if I have not mentioned your name, I'm sorry, but I'm currently just flashed. <laughs> and after saying my thank yous, as I just say, I just say thank all of them because if when I know day, if it's too no day, it's just simple maths, quick maths. <laughs> So I just want to always salute you, everybody who they support my channel. If this is the first time we come see my video, I do beg you, just subscribe. Okay, be ne be ni first day kena uba kwa pe video le YouTuber the kuku garden now. Subscribe, just click on the subscribe button. Send your first time as a channel leader for Chawara. Subscribe, joining an I and um. As I said, before I move, even with New Year, before even with New Year, I wish each and every one of you a smooth transition. I wish you everything that you wish for yourself for the year 2021. Mas yerba no monka 2020. Corona, you know if you follow us since 2020, I beg, just say 2020. No followers, I beg, okay? So, do lele yakpata nature 2020. Me mba pasa midoy 2021. Mawo ta chamajo, and yes. Ich wünsche euch allen einen guten Rutsch ins neue Jahr, ein gesundes neues Jahr auf jeden Fall. 
und dass ihr auch alles erreicht, was ihr euch fürs neue Jahr vorgenommen habt. And that you achieve everything that you have um, envisioned for yourself in the year 2021. Attain greater heights. And everybody will just blow in 2021. That's it. So yes, thank you so much for watching and Grazie mille, obrigado, ape, vielen lieben Dank, muchas gracias, thank una so, so much. Ciao, bless.